This is another archival upload of some of my previous mix critique videos. I apologize for the vertical format that this video is about to switch to. This is 216 to 220. This was sent in by Justin. <laughs> So far, it sounds pretty good tonally. My biggest problem so far is there's a serious tracking issue. Like everything is really sloppy. I absolutely would have retracked pretty much all of this. The drums, the guitar, like it's a very sloppy performance overall. Other than that, everything sounds really under compressed. Like everything sounds too loose, especially the drums. They're not, they're not tight and punchy the way that I would want drums in this genre to be. And even the guitars, like it sounds like you were trying to not use too much gain in the guitars, which is fine. You don't really want to use a ridiculous amount of gain, but that gain does help to compress the guitars overall. So I would say if you weren't when you track this, you should be using an overdrive pedal before the amp. That's gonna tighten up the guitar sound a lot overall because it'll hit the front of the amp harder and then it'll make the tubes just naturally compress the guitars more because they're being pushed from the get-go. <laughs> In terms of balance, everything's pretty good. I would say probably the guitars and the cymbals are a little too loud in terms of just their general volume compared to everything else. This mix was sent in by Simon. Big things here, guitars are way too loud. They're also out of tune. Now it might be the tuning itself, but it's more likely just the intonation of your guitar. Like get your guitar set up right. This is really important. But yeah, the guitar's too loud. Bass is also probably a little bit too loud. Basically the drums and the vocals are drowning. <laughs> So honestly, as far as the mix goes, it doesn't sound too bad given what you're working with here. Like, I think the main thing here is the drums and vocals are just getting drowned out by the guitars and the bass. That's a problem. But like, other than that, you might not be compressing things enough, but like your overall EQ curve feels decent. Like it sounds like we have the full frequency range of anything. Honestly, the biggest problem here is the source tones, man. None of these sound over EQ'd or over compressed or under EQ'd or under compressed. Like, honestly, it just sounds like the recording was bad. If you're working with bad source tracks, like there's nothing you can do here. The drums sound okay, but like the drummer could have hit a little harder. The bass is probably the best sounding thing here. Like it's at least in tune, but the guitars are really out of tune. The vocals are really all over the place. The guitar tone is not great. There's a lot of problems here and none of them are going to be fixed in the mixing phase. This mix was sent in by Prism Glide. Main things I'm noticing is the drums actually sound really good. Probably got a little bit too much reverb going on there or like the room mics need to be turned down a little bit or, or the room mics might need to be sculpted a little more with EQ. But for the most part, the drums sound really good. Other than that, everything else is pretty much too quiet. I can hear the guitars, but not super well. The bass is definitely too quiet. The vocals, they're pretty much there in terms of like the overall balance compared to everything else, pretty much at the right volume that could maybe go up a little bit. On the other hand, the vocals definitely need to be tuned. They're really pitchy to the point that honestly, I probably would have made the vocalist retract the vocals, but I don't think they're so far off that they couldn't be tuned. Rise to extract Honestly, the bass is there, but you got a little too much low end and not a high end going on in the bass. It's kind of muddying everything up. So it's there, it's present. You can hear that it's there, but where you really hear the bass is those upper mid frequencies. Like it needs to be cutting through at least a little bit in the upper mids. The low end is, honestly, the low end is more of a feel thing than anything. The actual articulation of the bass is gonna be in the high mids and it seems like you just cut way too much of the high mids or you might've just boosted the low end of the bass way too much. This mix was sent in by Mason. <laughs> Talk a little dirty, my hand grabs the back 
So far, it sounds pretty damn good, honestly. The big thing I'm noticing is the bass. The low end's just a little too boomy on the bass. I would not have boosted the lows that much. I would have just brought the fader overall up so it's filling out the overall frequency spectrum more. And then the vocals. The vocals sound like they're mixed a little too high. It sounds like they're starting to distort a little bit. That could be because you boosted the EQ in the high mids. I'm not sure. But they're definitely starting to distort a little bit. Find out what's going on there. And also the vocals have kind of like this weird, like chest resonance going on that I'm not really a fan of in this song, so probably try to EQ that out. In terms of overall EQ and compression, everything sounds pretty good. Uh, I think the big thing here is you gotta do more with the fader balance, man. Like the guitars and the bass feel a little too loud. That's partially because of the EQ move you made in the low end of the bass. But really, I think they just need to be balanced better. The vocals are probably a little too far out front as well. And the drums aren't really cutting through enough. And because the EQ and compression on everything sounds pretty good, I think really that's just a levels thing. You gotta level things better, spend more time with the fader balance. But honestly, other than those couple things, this is a really solid mix. This mix was sent in by Matthew. It's a one minute track and half of it is silence. Let's see how it goes. That was a really short track, so I'm gonna keep my notes just as short. Too much high mids in the guitar, too much reverb on the drums, the bass isn't sitting right.